comes in yet too. Well. Okay, Zane's so, uh, explaining. This is an inlet. It, yeah, at, at, uh, in, in, it's called the Nisner Lagoon. And this is the inlet from the sea, from the Indian Ocean. Wow. And uh, we're gonna, you, you don't see the lagoon just now. Okay, we'll go up around the corner and have lunch and see yep. the lagoon. <laughs> sending them I really believe uh, to South that their ministry has, has made a, a uh, sincere impact on this church, on the people of this church, and uh, lives have been touched, lives have been changed. Show me how I've misrepresented love. And she wrote, by the time we got there, had a full page of ways that I had, detailed ways that I'd misrepresented love. Today was really son. awesome. From the morning till tonight, the men's session was really fabulous. It was a bit scary at one point. I thought he was going to ask us to confess all of our sins publicly. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it was perfect. It was really nice. God really moved and uh, people's hearts were open and lives were changed. The Aww. part about having the cross before us in our previous generations is still is impacting all of us right now. Yeah. We thank God for Bob and Kelly Park. May God bless them and keep them strong and faithful for many, many years to go. Oh, thank you, Solomon. Hey, There's a kitchen in Durban. <laughs> kitchen in Durban. <laughs> <laughs> and so we do a sad place. And that's look at here. Look at all the action these women are doing. So, Wonderful yes, yes. meal. Look at there. What, what do we Same have? This chicken. That's a fish. Oh, fish, fish, fish. I was selling out safe. Oh. Lots of action going on in this kitchen. You can see. You can see it. You can smell it. You can <laughs> taste it. You can taste it. You can touch it. Touch it. Here's the outside kitchen. A lot what God did in your heart in the meeting last night. Okay, God did a very uh, miracle thing in my life after Sister Kelly ministered the word. really brought a conviction in my heart. And, I, and after she prayed for her, I, I felt such a healing process taking place in my inner heart, and I felt so blessed. I felt the, the burden that was lifted from me. Yes. Yes. Africa season. Yes. yes. Father, we know that slavery yes, has its roots in Africa. Yes, yes. my God. Particularly in West Africa. Jesus. Where our Lord, uh, forefathers yes, Lord. of the African people. My God. Lord, we sold in the sleep. Jesus. And Lord, we know today that there is a continent in the earth that's going to be highlighting mm -hmm. the spirit of sonship. Hallelujah. It's going to be Africa. Sunnah yes. Because that's the opposite of slavery. Yes, Lord. Uh, sonship Lord. is the opposite of slavery. Yes, yes. 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 So we thank you, Father. Okay, here we are. Our first tent meeting ever in Africa. <laughs> It's a, a kingdom church. So let's see what's going on inside. I think they're in for a big surprise. When Bob starts teaching on Father Heart. Here you go. because of our, uh, our experiences in our earthly father's house. And let me just say this about our earthly father's house. The reason that our earthly fathers were wounding like they were, it didn't start with them. 
They didn't just wake up one day and say, I'm just going to be mean and nasty. I'm just going to be authoritarian today. Or I'm going to be performance oriented. No, it's something that they experienced themselves. Down through the generations, it's been like that. And it just keeps coming down and getting worse until finally one generation says, enough. We are going to, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's what Joshua said. And that's exactly what it's going to take, is for one generation to say no more. Yeah. We're not going to be like this anymore. We're not going to play games anymore. We're going to love. Uh, till, till I was seven, I had a very close relationship uh -huh. with my dad. And uh, after that, he walked out on us. Okay. So we never spoke for a long time. Wow. Uh -huh. And um, although in my heart I've, I've uh, forgiven him, but... I couldn't forget, yeah. you know, the things that, uh, right. and um, after Bob touched, you know, put his hand on my shoulders, yeah, that's when the release came. <laughs> it came and, you know, uh, before that I felt my heart was about to explode. Uh -huh. And but did after, it explode? <laughs> <laughs> I cried my eyes out. I don't think I've ever cried. <laughs> that hard? <laughs> that hard oh. before, but... Uh, it brought healing. The yeah. release has brought To healing. tell you the truth, I used to hate my father so much because mm -hmm. they were divorced about 25 years ago with my mother. Wow, a long time ago, yeah. huh? So I used to stay with my mother and uh, she suffered so much mm -hmm. with us. We are five in our family. So uh, the day, on Saturday, when Bob was, we gave us mm -hmm. the testimony of, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that was the same thing that happened to our lives. Wow. Yeah, and hey, I want to thank the Lord Almighty today yeah. that I already forgiven my father. Oh. I wish he was here yeah. to listen to the word. Yeah. But I just praying that the Lord will changes out yeah. one day yeah and um maybe i'll go and see him uh -huh. i'll show him my love to him so that maybe you change yeah does he live far away from you yeah hey. he's in zimbabwe welcome to south africa <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> uh, Okay, that was the ladies' group from Sunday night in Richards Bay. <laughs> Thank you, guys.